We're on the Health Watch for you this morning. When you think of artificial intelligence, you likely think of computers or robots, basically anything that's not human. Yes, but one local hospital is helping bring new life into the world thanks to AI. And as CBS News Miami's anchor Lauren Pastrana found out, patients say it's made maternal care even more personal for them. I'm going to have to take him for a haircut. <laughs> Baby Daniel's parents are in love with their happy and healthy three week old. He's amazing. He's so sweet. First time mom Rafaela Canbar says her labor and delivery process was smooth and safe. And the process here was just so great. I was like, when in the middle of pushing, I'm like, when's the next one? And she credits the team at Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami Beach, along with the help of artificial intelligence. Anything that can help reduce the risk of unnecessary procedure, C-section, and also based on real data is always going to make me feel more confident and comfortable. The hospital uses a program called Vigilance to track a mother's progress through labor and delivery. Nurses still monitor patients constantly, but the AI's algorithm works in the background, tracking changes every 15 seconds that could mean trouble for mom or baby. It doesn't take away from the human factor of caring. I, I liken it much to a GPS. I know how to drive, but I use Waze to get home or any kind of, you know, uh, driving tool to get myself home so that I get there quicker and safer. The CDC says 80% of pregnancy related deaths are avoidable with better monitoring. The FDA approved technology has been found to significantly reduce the rate of fetal brain injuries, cerebral palsy cases and prediction errors during labor. That patient one second ago, you missed it, was red, went from red, which is like bad, to blue. Kylie Rollins Perez is the assistant vice president of labor and delivery at Mount Sinai. She says in maternity care, every second counts, and AI is a time saver that can also be a lifesaver. Even though the nurses are attentive and, and always watching the moms and the babies and, and the labor, it is just, it sends the alert just quicker. So you intervene a lot quicker so that we can get that mom and baby back on track to where we want them to be. So it could potentially save lives, this type of technology. It does save lives, yes. Just like her hopes and dreams for Daniel, Rafaela believes AI is the future. The more I think AI, we embrace it in healthcare, the more, the easier the lives is gonna be both for patients and for doctors and together really bringing better treatment. Experts believe this type of technology may also cut down on inherent biases in medical care. Mount Sinai is also implementing AI in different specialties, including cardiology and internal medicine. Lauren Pastrana, CBS News, Miami.